Hello Ant, how are you today? Hang on a second, your audio was funny there. Try that again. Uh -oh. How are you, Ant? <laughs> coffee, good. How are you? Oh, that's that's my entire life. I drink a little bit too much coffee sometimes. It honestly so I did a str second stream I've done today. I did a little stream earlier of me making one of the future games that we'll do as a, as, a, as a weekly project and it was just mostly me sort of sat staring at some code like this was the majority of the stream um, which is how i just kind of sit normally if you were to watch me just in my day-to-day -day life it would be me just staring at some code <laughs> pondering code over a cup of coffee and that's, i'll take that that's a pretty good life i won't i i I'm, it's not a complaint it's not a complaint it's merely an observation in fact, maybe it's okay. Leaning closer into the screen and going, "Why?" Exactly, exactly. Because sometimes code just doesn't make sense. Anyway, some code that does make sense. What a segue! What a segue! <laughs> Is last week's game Pirate Palava, which I enjoyed making the physics of. I love some some. I've used these pirate physics before in a game. I don't know if you were with us when we did Treasure Hunters. I was. It was Treasure Hunters? Treasure yeah. Hunt? Treasure Hunters? Oh, there you go, yeah. It was a really big hit. I think there's something about this, like, the whole pirate theme and controlling a ship. Yeah. Oh, this, this is my hacked version. I've got way too much code going on. There we go. This is the better. Oh, I know. Have you got some, some drift going on there? Yeah, you can. Somebody, uh, oh, in fact, I'll see if I can find it in two seconds. I might find it. Because I promised this week I'd show off one of the ones that I've seen in the IRL clubs. Somebody, Cam, who makes some pretty interesting games normally, mostly including my face. Um, Cam made a like a he he made a uh, it was like a race game or well, not a race game it was like a uh, you had to go around the map um, without crashing into the side. If you crashed, it was game over and lost. So. You had to use these to these sick, sick drifting skills and do some sick Tokyo drifts. I love that mechanic because you can change the the theme, the costumes in the game, and yeah. it'll apply really, really well to almost any theme. Like you could put some spaceships over here, some space. I think I actually built the mechanic for a space game. Oh, was that uh, not Asteroid Attack? There was another one a little while ago where you had to you had to get from one corner. To the other. Well, actually, like, originally I built it for an asteroids esque game that we did a year or so ago now. So I built these mechanics, I think, and then mm. I've reused them in a couple of different ways in a couple of different places. And tweaked, tweaked them, definitely tweaked them, because obviously, in like, there was no slowdown, I don't think, on the space ones, but there is in this, because obviously, water and friction. I'm all about that realism. But not to the point of it making it a bad and boring game. That's a, an important thing to remember. You can ruin a game with too much realism. Anyway, I digress. What did everyone get up to last week? Is this Arthur's that we have here? Yes, this is Arthur's game. Um, Arthur did a cracking job with his code and dove straight into this Bendy and the Ink Machine theme. I don't know if you're aware of this game, but Arthur's been telling me a little bit about it. And I'm, I'm a big horror fan myself, so he recommended this horror game for kids, which is actually a lot scarier than I thought it would be. But yeah, the theme is brilliant. He's got this fantastic boss sprite there, which I think he just hand-painted. By hand-painted, of course, I mean on the computer. With yeah, the mouse. Is, well done. Wow. That is... Blimey. For anybody who saw the stream earlier, they, they will have further evidence, further evidence on the condemning fact that I can't do any art at all, so... Like... I, it always impresses me, the stuff that people do in their, their projects. Like, it's always... I, I love mm. it so much. I love it that we've got so many people who are like... The, the, is the One of the things I love about games being a way to learn coding is there's also so much of the creativity of sound and, and art. And that, that design that goes into games as well. So, yeah, Arthur did a fantastic take on the theme. But, and like he's doing really well in that sense because the week before we had I think the Death Star was shooting little Mike Wazowski's out and on his first session before that he replaced a bunch of zone bots with his own face which was crazy so I'm always excited to see what Arthur comes up with yeah 
extra attack. Awesome. Okay, let's let's give it a go real quick then. I might just tweak. Oh, in fact, you know what? Please tweak the code for us. How many points do you get for a ship? Just yet. Yeah, cool. So immediately we're going to come up against a boss battle once we defeat. Oh my goodness. So much. Yeah. Oh, there's a this this boss is cool. So so big. There we go. Defeated the boss. Oh. That was some, some so what we also great about that um, particular hack club is Arthur did so well on this code, what we did is someone else needed that code who didn't have the boss ready. Mm. So we took Arthur's code, popped it in there, took some of the code that they finished and popped it in someone else's project who made nice. a cool boss sprite. Nice. And then someone else, we just gave them this boss sprite that was created by three different coders. So there's this really cool collaboration going on. That is brilliant. I love it. Oh, we had a really cool moment of collaboration yesterday in the the IRL club I was running, everyone was working, people, like, there was a group of about uh, three or four, they, they, they made a, like, a code, like, a Cody It game, so we've got these little robots called Cody in the IRL clubs, in the physical clubs, and they're making It with them, but also, like, it was, like, zombie It, so they had, like, they either had, they had human faces on their little robots, so this is what a Cody head looks like, and it's got a little, 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 like, robot, like, a track, to, like, a, tracks, what are they called? The tracks you have on side of, like, tanks or diggers. Words have gone out uh, of That sort of I thing. know what you mean. I, my, my words are failing me right now. Exactly. My brain has gone blank as well. Um, what tracks? Yeah. So they had like those, and they had like little human faces or zombie faces, and it was like a competitive, like an it game between each other and things like that. I love I love those moments of collaboration when people are working on working on yeah, things together. Yeah. It's brilliant. It's brilliant. I, I know. I know. I know what it's like. It's great. Awesome. Well, I really like that, and I love the. Uh, I I've never heard of this game before. That it mentioned it was based. On. I I hadn't either. I was completely off my radar, and then, you know how like a YouTube algorithm will hit you hard the moment you Google something, or you search something up, then suddenly all I'm seeing on my YouTube feed is Bendy and the Ink Machine. Bendy and the Ink Machine. It's um. It's got that very like third nineteen thirties. Uh, Disney cartoon aesthetic. Yeah, yeah. I, it's giving you like Cuphead vibes. I was about to say, I like as much as the game Cuphead was really, really hard. I I enjoyed watching other people play it. Other people much more talented mm. at games than me with a lot more patience. And I loved the uh, the the show on Netflix. I loved it. Absolutely brilliant. I I loved. I did, I absolutely loved it. That's brilliant. Awesome. It's uh yeah. That's awesome. Well done, Arthur. Mm. Mm. Okay, what else have we got? Who's is this then? This is Angels. Awesome, awesome, awesome. That is a spooky, spidery kraken thing. That is. Now, last scary. I checked, I believe, I believe last I saw the code was good. But there might just because this was towards the end of the session that he wrapped up the second boss. Sure. There might be something awry, so. Let's well, keep our fingers crossed. I can see that we've got a broadcast here that doesn't seem to that doesn't seem to be a, a the, 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 the broadcast to get this when I receive, so we can always tweak this in two seconds or trigger it ourselves manually by clicking on the script in a second. Mm. So I'm sure it's the sort of thing you can tweak and finish off when he gets the chance if we're showing it off before it's uh, before it's ready. So let's try so five hundred points to get the first crack the first uh, boss battle. Yeah, I think Angel's just quite fond of the boss fights, and nice. when he, he beat the first one, he was like, right, that's not enough, need more, need more. Got a, a Dark Souls uh, a future from software employee right there. Please, no. <laughs> <laughs> I I must admit, I like their, those games are a little bit too hard for me as well. I like, I like simpler, calmer games. I, I like games that make me feel good about myself and my skills. <laughs> <laughs> I need mean, yeah. I mean confirmation bias that you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm great. Well, that's that's an interesting thing that like you've got to do in in game development when you're making the game is trying to work out a way to make um uh games make the player feel like they're really good at the game because actually if yeah. you made it as I said a minute ago re realistic or in actual fact if you like sort of made hitboxes the actual size that hitboxes are then 
you're really really hard you know like we've all we've all been through the pain of like surely they didn't actually hit me with that attack or whatever like you know it's you've got to you've got to tweak those things and stuff like that i mm. watched a a really good um little uh, uh youtube video explaining one time why celeste is really good at that um i can't remember who it was by now but it was it was a really good discussion of that sort of thing so we've looked at the first kraken let's get this second boss here appearing let's do this oh my goodness that is huge and terrifying <laughs> okay and again some great oh my goodness, art here. and it shoots us okay <laughs> I forgot about the the fact that it shoots you as well. It like really adds to the the horror of the situation. That's not. I can't. I can't move fast enough. It's way too far. Oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's try and disable the enemies real quick and just make it a, a, a straight up one. Just bomb versus angels kraken. Oh, a straight up one v one. Oh my goodness. Nope. I'm doomed. I am. Absolutely. That fire rate is, is something, huh? No, no, there's no way I'm going to beat that. That's way better than me. That is uh, well, really well done for repurposing the, the, the firing code from the enemy ship, things like that. Nicely done. It's not firing as well, like some good good checks there. Not firing unless we're... Unless things are true and full, unless it's spawned in. Sorry. So it waits and everything. That's really good. I like it. Awesome. Great job, Angel. Mm. Any other games to have a little peek at? I believe there's one more. Switch and that is... Let's see. Lo lovely the man, the myth, game. the legend, Pranav. You, you love Pranav's games, don't you? He always does some really cool little splash screens of like title cards and stuff. I like it. I like it. Let's have a look. So... Now, I think, as you'll see, he did something new for for him today, or at least, at least new by what I've seen Pranav make, which is he's made this kind of like narrative story system this time. Yeah. Normally Pranav will go overboard and up a brand new theme and completely change up a game, make it like something established. But today he created this pretty cool, as you saw there. Okay, cool. We're shooting out the front of our... Oh my goodness, yeah. it's a lot harder. Yeah, I believe... I can't remember how many it is, but once you destroy a certain amount of ships, then you trigger a new event with some more narrative, some more text. So it's, it's just really cool to see. I might have to skip ahead. I might not be good enough to get to the point of more narrative. I might have to, you know, cheat the code. Oh, I did that. I, I, I went in, checked the code. I was like, let's just lower that, lower that school requirement. Right, I'm gonna. I like that the changing of those. Right, I'm just gonna quickly get that. What's the the score? Crack it up here. Crack it up here. Oh my goodness, this is spoilers. Right. Um, crack it. Waves cleared. Oh my goodness. Twenty five. You gotta. You gotta. Twenty five enemies. Wait. Right, okay. Let's just bump that down to one enemy. <laughs> and that to, in fact, bump that down to zero enemies, and that to zero seconds. I will change those numbers back in two seconds. Let's try this again. Well, it's great because, you know, on a surface level, compared to some of the other games Pranav has done, it might be easy to go, oh, there aren't that many changes this time, but it's actually, he's really gone out to try something completely new. Well, this, this and worked really hard to create this really cool different system this, that I haven't it, seen. Yeah, there's like a whole, there's a whole text thing. So they we skipped straight through from under the water. They, they were always useless. A, 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 the Kraken has voice lines. That's brilliant. That is brilliant. I Does it? I, I I didn't hear anything well, last no, no, time. No, not audio, sorry. As in, like, it's not... It's got... It's oh! Gone. It's gone. You got me all excited for a moment sorry. there. Sorry. It's doing... It's all like... It's you're like... That's brilliant. Like, giving the... The Kraken lines that it'll set for. It's the Kraken. Bring us back to our position. Oh! I'm going to lose... And there's the Kraken. Again, some amazing art. That is... Yeah, that is a brilliant... Who's angry eyes? I 
That is brilliant. That is brilliant. I love it. I love it. Awesome. Also, a nice little touch that it flips to make sure it's always looking in your direction. Mm, yeah, yeah. So that's, that's... that's easy to leave out. Mm, that's very, yeah, hang on, where's that? So, point towards the crack at the bar. I reckon it's got left to right rotation. If you can see that, very Yeah, it's very I think I can see. Let's set that right. Mm. Or like you can do it full screen, screen, yeah. This block here. Mm. So that'll be. That is, they, they are some brilliant. I, I absolutely love those, all of those. It was. I'm glad everyone enjoyed last week's game. I'm trying to think if there are any really good. I'll, uh, I'll find cams real quick. I'll find cams real quick. Give me two moments. Uh... It'll be great because I don't think I ever really get to see the code from the projects from the in person clubs. Yeah, yeah, it did dawn on me. It did dawn on me. Um, let's see if I can find it. So I'm super curious here. Let's see what we got. Hang on a sec. We do sometimes get some messages with some rather chaotic projects that have been made, such as, wasn't there the, the throwing sword game? Yeah, people make all involved. sorts of weird, weird games. It's, um, it, I find... But it involved like, your face, maybe? Was that it? They, yeah, you had to throw me at me. Um, in fact, I think <laughs> that was Cam. So this was a lovely, lovely change from it. In that it wasn't like completely, uh, just well, I don't, like completely insane, um, <laughs> and it, it it didn't star me, so that was a nice change. Here we go. Can you see this all right? Um, I can. Yes. Awesome. So it was. So he took the same same boat mechanics. He's taken out the enemies, and if you touch the black, it's game over. If you touch the so it's game over. Oh, that is a tricky corner then. So, in fact, I think Paul, Paul and I then had a little competition to see which one of us could make it around quickest. And um, do you do you get a score based on your time? Uh, yes, I think you do. Oh, just hit the corner. It's too late. That's really that looks it really is, fun. It is really tough. It's good fun, but it is it is it is tough. It is tough. I'll link it to you in a sec, and you can take a. Take a stab at it, see if you can get the better score. But um, yeah, there you go. If timer is less than high score, set high score to timer. So there you go. It was uh, yeah, it was a good one. It was a good one. I thought it was a really creative use because it's taking these complicated, uh, complicated physics and, and changing up the entire game mode. Well, at, at the same time, making it so it's it's really simple. It's so effective. Like it's it's one simple mechanic to master. It can be really like I'm I I'm gonna play this straight away after this stream. And then even then you could make some really simple new maps. Yeah. And pop it over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because the map oh, is it. the map is here. So it's it's just the the uh the, the area you play on is cut out, it's trimmed out. So he rubbed out the area that you could drive on. Uh, and then if you collide with the actual sprite, that is that is when you lose. Yeah, like I'd even be tempted to, like for some levels, make the ship smaller and then have a more intricate map, more intricate racetrack. Yep, yep, for sure. For There's sure. so much you could do with this one concept, I love it. Mm -hmm. Well Definitely. done, Cam. Yeah, awesome. Right, I reckon that's just about what we've got time for. I know we've both got to get off the clubs sooner or later, but real quick, let me show you this week's game. Forget the fruit. How did it go down yesterday in yesterday's club? Good, good. We had a lot of people working on that, uh, like the main the main code hack for the week, which is, I believe it's spawning a bunch of AI opponents. Mm -hmm. They do some random things. I thought I'd do something a little bit we could do something a little different this week. We've had a lot of the sort of like, you know, combat -y type related ones or you know, that sort of thing recently. Mm. But it'd be interesting to do a, a memory game. Make something a little bit It's funny sweet. because whenever I look at someone's project, I can never focus on fixing a project and playing the memory game at the same time. So I'm like, oh I lost. Oh I lost. Oh I lost. That was uh, that was the struggle of recording the um, the intro video. 
that's why the the gameplay section it's like the me explaining the game is like an extra 20 seconds long because i'm trying to play a game and it's it's harder than honestly like when you see like streamers playing games or whatever i don't know how they do it i don't know how like you know they will be playing like really hard games and talking at the same time it's it's difficult to talk and play sometimes oh yeah i was talking to my wife playing breath of breath of the wild last night and she was like be quiet be quiet yeah <laughs> yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh breath of the wild that's a game i need to play it's on my my pile of shame that i've not played but yes memory game so apple or orange apple orange apple so this was the apple tile so we're going to stand on that tile in fact, go back. Well, in fact, was that Apple? There we go. Apple tile. There you go. Succeeded. Apple, strawberry, apple, strawberry. And you got to find, you got to remember where all the tiles are, and then on the left-hand side, it will show you where you got to run to. So it's apple, strawberry. This was a strawberry. I wasn't paying attention. Oh, see, I wasn't paying attention, and now I'm going to lose. I'm yep. going to lose. Yeah. Well done, me. I read them the wrong way. I remembered them the wrong way around. Immediately lost. But that is the essence of the game. And it gets harder as time goes on. I don't know if anybody's... Um, if you had anyone spot that in the uh, in this bit of code here last night? Yes, we had a few coders notice that as you get deeper and deeper, a few more flavors come up, mm -hmm. more varieties of costumes of the fruit, and then mm -hmm. it becomes a nightmare for me. Awesome. Well, I reckon we should head off now. We, in fact, I I I won't be here next week. I'm on holiday, so. I, I either I will will work it out, but uh, at some point we'll get we'll get to talk this game through and how everybody gets on with it. Um, we'll see. That maybe joins like next week with you or someone else. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what people want to do. Okie dokie. Well, we'll see you again soon, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having us and for watching us. Indeed. I will see you all in the clubs. Yeah. Okie dokie. Goodbye. 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 Bye.